hi everyone hi everyone welcome back to my channel i am kayla for everyone who is new here welcome back to a brand new video and welcome to my first official series that i'm doing i do i have created like series or a playlist on my channel before in the past but now i'm doing an official series of a devotional that i'm going through just to preface, this is not my own devotional, you know, I wish, but if y'all willing in the future, if I do have devotionals of my own, I would love to do that and like grow and prosper in so many ways of the sort. But um, I had the idea to take you guys along sort of or document my way through this devotional that I'm doing. It's called In View in view of god's mercies and it's by courtney doctor um a friend of mine on instagram Aaliyah jones i love her she's just like such a blessing and just so full of joy and just everything now um she decided to do this study she was doing it with a group of her friends and put on her story and was like anyone who would love to purchase this devotional and do it feel free um so it was such a blessing that she welcomed her instagram followers to do it because i was able to purchase along with other women and we are able to well we gathered for the first time this past sunday on like a zoom call and that was so wonderful wonderful <laughs> wonder 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 wonderful i can't speak um to kind of have that full fellowship to have that fellowship with such beautiful and great body of women that it was so refreshing to me i would love to as i get older in my 20s to just have a solid group of women to just commune with pray with go through a study with um i think there's so much power with like just gathering and studying with other people whether it's family friends but it's wonderful when you meet other people and hear their stories and hear their how what you know how they felt going through a study now first of all the cover is just so beautiful it's just so cute but beyond that um, the study is really, it's quite a blessing. I'm on day three of week or session one. Now I have two more days because it's like a five day a week session. Then there's like discussion questions at each, at the end of each session. Through the sessions itself, I'm kind of going as like slower than expected but it's still a blessing because i'm able to fully dive in it pray through it and just really sit on how the verses how the whole setting or devotional applies to me right now now the last devotional i've done it was on the book of exodus um this devotional focusing on god's mercies is on the book of romans we're following through paul's life um and that is just so beautiful to see and just focus on paul's ministry paul's life how he was turned from a sinner from those who persecuted from someone who approved of persecuting um yah's children those who serve God and he fully changed by the mercies of God, by the grace of God, by his eyes being open to who Father is and just how he set his son here to save all of us. And once his eyes were open to Yeshua or Jesus, like he just fully was on fire and he wanted to preach the word and just on his way to demarcus it was as the study emphasizes so far um he just was preaching the word to many and so many people doubted him based off his past um but then the study goes on to emphasize that no one is ever too far gone quote unquote to be saved by father and that was just something that i needed to hear too because um 
as I myself am praying for so many loved ones to fully surrender, to fully serve um, Father and, and just accept his salvation that he gives um, and is willing to have us receive. Um, praying for so many friendships, praying for strangers, praying for our society, our nation, my peer group, the list goes on. Now, it was such a great reminder when I was resting on, I think it was day one, um, on how we need to remember that no one, that Jesus, Yahushua HaMashiach, can do wondrous things in our life. Like, no one is ever too far gone. The word says that he saves the uttermost. Um, for those who, what was it? Um, let me go to the verse that they took us to. It was in Hebrews 7 verse 25. Yeah. So in the word and specifically in Hebrews, which is such a good book, I'm like finishing that book also. I have like two more chapters. But um, just remember that he saves the uttermost. Those who can be in the most deepest, darkest, and most lost situations. And they are even, can turn onto Father and live a life through him and be saved. And to that side note, I just love that right now in this time period that I am studying the book of Romans as it emphasizes um, Paul, one who like boldly and fearlessly and courageously held true and held on to the gospel, just purely working on salvation and wanting to save many and preach the word and just um, be a living testimony to many that living a life through Elohim, the Most High, Yahushua, Jesus, that you may be saved and that, um, and it is beautiful that he just emphasized that if we only believe that we will receive salvation from him and just live a prosperous life through our faith, bottom line, just through our faith. Our faith is what makes us whole, as the word reminds us. Now, um, yeah, so that is just what's what I am kind of going through presently right now. I just wanted to give, just chat about that um, and just tell you guys, if you guys are new to my channel or you've been here, I just want to remind you guys that through Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, we can live um by our faith and just be saved by him just surrender to him and when i say like strengthen our relationship with him or maintain a relationship with him it's just by reclaiming our faith to him daily professing our love turning our heart father i want to live a life that honors you i want to um read your word father give me the desire to read your word to live by it and be saved by it because his word is living it is true it is active and um it's how he communicates to us and with us and gives us discernment and helps us to decipher and discern what times we are in what is going on like nine times out of ten when i'm reading the word it just so makes sense to what's going on now or just you may hear that like prophecy is literally being confirmed in the past five years, six years, 10 presently. So um, in all this, I just wanna remind you guys of just the bottom line of salvation, of how, um, how no matter how dark of a place you're in, no matter where you come from, um, in your faith walk and your journey but just being fully aligned and just have a ongoing relationship with him so that we can be alive meaning that we can live with him in his resurrection because he died and rose again um and he was the ultimate sacrifice of all sin 
um, while we still would have our sinful nature and be in flesh, he, um, through our relationship with him and um, closeness through baptism, um, we, through our relationship with him, can live in spirit. That we can receive freedom and be freed in him. While we fully surrender to him, we would pray to Father God um, and desire a stronger closeness and intentional relationship with him furthermore. So I just love that, just the idea that everyone's talking about the gospel, about our belief, about the desire to repent, to pray to Father and repent and just I want to come back from our wicked ways and ask Father to help us turn onto righteousness by our faith in him. Um, ask for him to just renew us and create in us a new heart and a clean way, so that it says. Um, just ask him to strip you of your old and sinful ways because you are now renewed and um, have newness of life. So that's just so, that that is just such a blessing that I'm able to go through this devotion. I will come back. So here's just like a preliminary video to the series. And I will come back with a recap and debriefing of the next sessions. So there's like nine sessions. So I will come back soon <laughs> with a recap from session one and then so on and so forth. So prayerfully I can do nine sessions here. Um, I just wanted to say quickly, um, share the memory verse for this session two as it talks about um, Paul being not ashamed of the gospel. Now, so it's Romans, chapter 1 verse 16 oh so it just says for i am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of god for salvation to everyone who believes first to the jew and also to the greek for it the righteousness of god is revealed from faith to faith just as it is written the righteous will live by faith before closing out this video briefly just explain the devotional a little bit in case you guys decide to purchase this devotional to study it yourself. So I will try to link um, this devotional in the description. It's on Amazon for about like, I think it's a little bit over or under $20. Um, it's, it might be a little bit over $20. Now, again, it's called In View of God's Mercies. Now, I love how every day every session just really highlights god's mercies and just shows how father god is just continuously merciful and how those who serve him and believe him are just as merciful um i, I won't spoil the debriefing on session one but in one of the um sessions it is discussed a chapter in acts acts chapter seven how stefan in his moment of being stoned to death even he showed mercy um, or even asked father for mercy of those who were stoning him so it's just that type of mercy that i long to have and just ask for the desire to grow on so um and i love this and i did read the book of romans before um i did share this with you guys i think back in like last year on my renewed like bible study video um or updated bible routine now i read the book of romans but it it's wonderful to go back into romans with this viewpoint of focusing on paul and his story so the first few days kind of takes you on the preliminary of who paul was and who he's um desiring or growing to be on the back, it just says, the gospel doesn't just change your eternal future, it changes your present reality, which is really, it's just so true. When you just rest on your salvation and your belief and your faith day by day, it doesn't make it easier, but it makes it 
it makes you have that stronger desire to seek after father even through the persecution even through um you being called crazy or radical or whatever for your set apartness in this world okay, so just a brief on the like how the devotional actually works there are five days in each session um there are nine sessions altogether. there are video i guess not prompts but sermons i think or discussions i actually want to tune into them i've done like two or three days now without tuning in but in previous devotions that i've done on exodus it was called this is our god i will try to link that in the description as well that had video promptings that i followed and it was such a blessing to do so um and then aside from that after every session there are discussion questions and that's what i am discussing with the other women on like i think monthly we have it set to um zoom calls for those who can show up, if you can't, that is still fine. There's still our group chat, which I am blessed to have. It is so beautiful to still conversate and get to know and just kind of update on our study time. So I have this and then I, of course, I use my Bible study um, journal to go through it. So I just brought this journal. I bought this journal on Amazon. I will try to link it. And, um, Previously, for my Bible study journals, I like to use a blank page sketchbook so that I can freely use the space to take my Bible study notes and reflections and scriptures and prayers and index cards, just something sort of like this. In doing my study, I kind of aligned it in the same fashion where I open up a page and I write down like the date and what day it is and then I kind of answer the discussion questions or the daily devotional reflection questions in this journal rather than writing it in the devotional I write it here and do my highlighting and of course my highlighting in my bible um I just like to keep the devotionals plain um, in case for other use or if I want to maybe give it to someone else to use that way it's plain and just easy to use so I just pray that all you guys if you do decide to use this devotional um, with intention and I just pray that you guys um, have strong understanding and that it could be foundational for all of you who are new in your faith I just pray that you guys can have the resources to open up the devotional and purchase it and that it comes from point A to point B safely through shipment. Father, I just pray that if, it's it, if it is in your will for everyone who has it in their heart to jump on this study and get into it and dive further in your word. Through this devotional, I just pray that if it is in your will that you will give them every bit of confirmation father so in yahushua's name i pray these things in your name father and i just thank you and i rejoice with my viewers and just with you father right now that i just thank you for these resources i thank you for um the revelation of reading this book for a second time to see further detail and to focus on who Paul was and how he can directly relate to me. And Father, I just also pray that you just show us directly how Paul's boldness, Paul's life, Paul in the way he served you, Father, as a faithful servant, as we can see in the Book of Romans, I just pray that we just evoke that same desire to have people know you and see you and see you through us father i just pray that we evoke the same fruits that paul did the same fruits that you mentioned in galatians and that you just continue to shape us and mold us into what you desire and not the ways of the world not the ways of our flesh and our old and sinful ways and traditional ways, Father, change us where you are glorified. 
in your name I pray these things and I just pray that you continue to bless every person watching this video and I pray that you only notice the good in our faith and how it's good to endure in the faith and constantly remember your faith remember your salvation that father gifted us <laughs> and just see the joy in it especially in those times um consider your set apartness your difference your desire to seek father where the world does not consider your difference something to rejoice over and be thankful and be glad in it as we are supposed to be glad and rejoice in every day um i pray that when watching my channel you guys only desire in our and and are encouraged to strengthen your faith even further than this devotion um as i'm doing this series i am going through this devotion but i am still praying about and want further understanding and revelation on other books of the bible while pacing myself of course but um do not only confine yourself to devotionals or just scripture memes or scripture scripture posts on a daily on Instagram or whatever the case is for you or on Pinterest. While those resources are such a blessing and wonderful to add to our faith, seek the word out for yourself. Go into the word, go on your knees and pray to Father too have a relationship of your own as the word does say also we all are to we all are to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling do not hold yourself accountable to a meme or just a devotional or just a bible study um resource those things are wonderful commentaries are wonderful we are blessed to have that to add on to our quiet time but just allow your time also to be intimately driven yeah so that is all for today's video i shall see you guys soon with more sit downs and vlogs and just whatever is on my heart i'm praying to see you guys more often i'm praying that you guys see me more often and you guys click on this channel and if you're here for the first time, feel free to subscribe and like and comment with me. Chat with me in the comments. I, I do respond. I do love to conversate and love when you guys give me feedback because that lets me know what more, what videos to do or make more. What videos are you guys enjoying from me? And um, as I'm building my channel up and I'm praying that it blossoms into something even larger than I imagine and that father totally just comes into this channel and is and is fully glorified in that it is just his work that is being done not even my own now I pray that you guys have a blessed day a blessed week a blessed weekend a blessed night whatever time you guys are watching this and I shall see you guys love you all and and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.